Hi again folks, how you all doing? I thought I'd do a quick layout update video. I know it's not very long since I did the last one, but uh, I've uh, made a bit of progress since then, so I thought I'll bring you up to date and uh, let's see what I've been doing and uh, what the uh, plans are for the immediate future. So as you can see, I've got the final sections of track all ballasted, so there's no more white polystyrene showing on the layout, which I'm uh, very pleased about. I've painted the rock outcrops, just using the same technique I did before. And I've also repainted the tunnel mouths because, you know, they got covered in plaster and stuff, so they've had to be repainted. All looks a bit rough just now, but once the greenery's in, it'll make a big difference. Got all the bushes and trees and everything. Planning to have quite a lot of trees in this area here, and that will hide that join. Um, and then up here there'll be houses, some more trees, lots of bushes. Uh, of course the road will get painted up. Still got a bit of work to do here. I've got a wall to add in there and a wall down this side and I want to re relay this uh, section of road. It's quite narrow this road, um, which is kind of deliberate. I wanted to make it look like a little country road, uh, but getting in and out of the station is a bit tight. I'm aware of that because originally I planned to have it come out there, but the bridge was going to be too big. Um, so I've had to snake it round there. I think I'm going to have a traffic light system for the, the traffic going over the bridge. I've added in a little signal box. This is the Metcalf small signal box. I really like the Metcalf kits. Um, and really nice models, nicely to scale, very uh, well put together, excellent instructions. Um, I've never you know, made a serious mistake when building one. Um, this kit was a wee bit more complicated than I thought it was going to be. Uh, well, maybe not, not complicated, but quite fiddly. But, uh, you know, I didn't want a great big signal box. This one was just, just what I was after. My only complaint about Metcalf kits, really, is that, you know, they always look very new. And uh, weathering card is, is quite difficult, I find. But uh, we'll, we'll see what we can do to make this look a, a bit more lived in. Another thing I'm going to have to start thinking about soon is adding signals into the layout. Um, I haven't done that so far because you know they just get in the way when you're working on the layout you end up knocking them over or breaking them or something so once the layout's uh let's just say once the backdrops are in and that last section's done we'll start thinking about uh signals i'll just be putting the uh the old style ones in i think i've got my backdrops delivered i'm going to use the id back scenes hills and dales packs a b c and d i think that'll cover it I might need a, a section of sky or two here and there, I think, maybe. So they'll fix onto the walls around there. Across the front of the window, I'll need to put some kind of board across to mount it on. And then again, just straight onto the wall around there. And around here, and the lift-out section, I'll need to mount some uh, plywood boards or something to put them on. The tricky bit is going to be... Uh, this section here with the viaduct because it drops down. This is where I might need some extra sky. But we'll see how we get on. In my last update, I talked about this point here, which was broken. Um, I've glued it again. It's actually been glued a couple of times in the past. So I've glued it again for now. And then I noticed that this point had gone the same way. So I've glued it as well, but no, I think both those points are gonna have to come out and get replaced. Not looking forward to doing that, but Needs must. Once this is all greenified, I've got two boxes of these seafoam trees to have a go at installing. Um, they need a bit of prep. Uh, the ones that are a bit bent will need soap to straighten them out and then we'll add some uh, green foliage onto them and stuff. But uh, I think they look, you know, they look like they're going to be uh, really good trees and there's plenty of them. I'll be putting a lot of them in here and some along the back of the vide up there and up around about the tower house. Just uh, get some more uh, trees up here, I think. And also around here, I think, you know, there's going to be houses either side of this road, but I think that some trees around the back of the houses would look quite nice. So there you are, that's you up to date with everything. Uh, I'll do another update once I've got the, the greenery in, in the last section and the road finished and the backdrops in. Uh, because once that's all done, uh, essentially, that's the 
the layout complete, at least the first stage of building it anyway. Uh, from then on it's a case of going round and adding detail, you know, more trees, more bushes, more people, um, a few more buildings here and there, maybe make the odd change to a couple of things, but uh, I'm looking forward to that because it's you know it's been a lot of a lot of work building this layout and uh, it'll be nice to have you know all the hard work done and then it's just easy little things from from then on and it'll be fun picking stuff up at uh, exhibitions. Speaking of which, I will be at the Dundee Model Railway exhibition this month. Um, I'm not sure if it'll be the Saturday or the Sunday. Um, Sundays are certainly easier for parking, but we'll see. Um, I'll let you know near the time which day I'm going to be there and if, if you are there and you see me please do come and say hello. Alright, okay folks, catch us later.